Well, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY 3D Tech. So we have the reimagined uh, SEMA X8, and we're going to take it for its first test flight. So I wanted to jump in real quick. Uh, so you see it take off, so uh, one of the things that I feel actually really good about with this is there's enough torque in these motors to actually lift this frame because this frame is a whole lot heavier than the stock SEMA frame. So that's a good thing, but one of the things that um, you're going to see is the problem is going to be, uh, in short, these, these um, screws here because the way I designed these brackets was for the screws to actually screw in and tighten down on the PLA and they actually do that fairly well but uh, it doesn't get enough of a grip especially with the extra weight because what's happening unlike the stock SEMA that is designed like this where the, the uh, this portion of the gear actually rides up and rides against the bottom of this so it actually lifts the frame up like this, the full weight is now placed upon these screws into PLA and these motors are turning at a very high RPM and one of the things I'm really really shocked at the amount of vibration that this creates and so what happens is it pulls the screws out so what I'm gonna have to do is get some like number two screws or something like that because these are very small and actually put them through and put nuts on the bottom. Now the way I designed this particular piece right here and I think this will probably still work if I put uh, uh, if I get it in here. If I put a nut and a bolt on just this one and then screw these into the PLA because the way I've made these, these are solid so this is you know with a, a you know small tubular opening that it grips down through it should be probably pretty good so long as I got one full nut and bolt combination on here. Anyways, that's what I'm going to try. Um, it, but in other words, yeah, because it doesn't have that up force because again, this sort of pulls up. So not only does it have these, but it also has where it runs against that. So anyways, let's jump back to the video and see what happens. Okay, so much for the first test flight. So we ran into a little bit of a problem. Obviously it did work, but uh, we had some problems with the motor mount holding. The one held. So uh, something we have to fix in the updated design. I kind of thought this was going to be a problem. So it tossed off a couple of the engines now. Thankfully it wasn't damaged and I just simply have to find them all and collect them back up. But uh, actually what's pretty positive about this is there's really no damage to the airframe or any of that. So from a first time around, I don't think that was too bad. So I'm gonna have to do a couple modifications, but uh, hey, for a first go around, that was bad. So if you found this interesting or if you're following this, hey, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe button's gonna be coming over that way. And uh, hey, hit me up with comments below. Cheers, see you in the next one.